Facebook page. If you ever want to be on it, just let me know. And I will add you to it in case you need to do this at home. Because not everybody has the time to come every single class. If I haven't met you before, if you want to accept it, no. You're Julie? Beverly. Release 
the arms. Let's bring the hands back down. Find your easy seat again. Let's switch sides. We're going to stretch the right arm across this time. Cross the chest. The thumb there with that other forearm. Inhale. Exhale. Tuck back with the left forearm. Find your next stretch if you want. Just go ahead and gaze to the right. Go back. Inhale. Tuck back with the left. Exhale. One more breath in here. And breath out. And release. Let's come back to our seat. And seated cat cow. Hands interlaced. Let's go ahead and lace the fingertips together. Reach the arms up. Lace the fingers. Palms to the sky. Just lifting the chest. And exhale. Let's find a cat pose with the spine. Just round the mat. Bring the arms forward into parallel with the mat. Reach the arms up again. Breath in. Find the cow spine so that lifts. And exhale, round. Hands pressing forward. Spine pulling back. Let's raise the arms up again. Inhale. Slow the cubic bone down into your mat. And breath out, cat spine. Move the pubic bone away from the floor as you round the back. Take another inhale, arms up, chest up. And exhale, the hands down, back to your easy seat. Just keep your spine neutral here while you sit. And let's find a tabletop position. So we're going to roll over our shins and place the palms down under your shoulders and knees under your hips. Lateral spinal stretch from here. Let the spine become neutral here. Take a breath in. Let your exhale. Let's move the right shoulder and the right hip towards one another. Almost like you're making your letter C with your body. Just gazing over your right shoulder. And inhale, come back to the center. Exhale. Squeeze the left shoulder this time and left hip together. Pass the left shoulder. And breathe in. Coming back to your center. Exhale, C shape to the right. And breathe in, pass through your center again. Exhale, C shape left. Take a few more rounds on your own. And just wagging your tail. Here's 
slowly lower down to your belly. Keep your hips, eyes lower, got it, chest and hips. Hitting the ground at the same time. And inhale to cobra. Let's root the hips down to the mat from here. Move the chest off the ground. And we're warming up the back here. Keep the chest lifted as you breathe out. Just roll the shoulders back and down. Look down at the mat. One more breath in here. Maybe lift the chin again. Let your back do the work. Keep your torso lifted. Exhale. Let's lower back down. Chest back down to the mat. Plant the hands on the mat here, just under your shoulders. Let's inhale. Tuck the back toes. Push yourself back up to tabletop position. And from here, back to downward dog. Let's lift the knees off the ground and send the hips up and back. Just kind of push through your hands here as you inhale. Soften the ankles to the ground. If you want to cuddle the feet here for a moment, do that. Just exhale. And let's send that right foot up and back like a three-legged dog. Keep the foot pointing straight down at your mat. And your right hip pointing towards your mat. A little stretch in the left hamstring. Maybe in that right hip flexor. Exhale. Let's find a low lunge. Shift the shoulders forward. And just step the foot in between the palms. Pull that knee up into your chest as you plant the right foot down between the palms. Take a breath in here. Kind of gaze forward. Exhale. Let's find a forward fold. Step that back foot forward to meet the other. And inhale for a halfway lift. Form your hands into your shins for a moment. Keep your spine long. Exhale. Let's fold forward all the way back down. And inhale. Circle sweep the arms up to the sky. And exhale, spill over your legs, back down. And inhale, find that halfway lift again. Press the hands into your quads, shins, or floor. And exhale, spike the palms and step back to downward facing dog. And from here, inhale, shift forward to your plank, the shoulders over the wrist. Exhale, chaturanga this time. If you'd like to try it, hinge forward on those tippy toes, halfway down with the elbows. Lower the knees if you need to. Just lower the chest halfway down. And inhale, upward facing dog. Let's roll the toes down, tops the feet to the mat. Straighten the elbows. Just lifting the shoulders high as you roll them back and down. Push them down through the feet, keeping the legs engaged. Let's sit off the mat. Exhale, downward facing dog. Flip the feet back over. Send the hips up and back. And inhale from here. Let's bring that left foot up and back this time for three legged dog. Push down with your hands and create length, driving that left foot away from you. Exhale, find your low lunge. Shift forward, shoulders over the wrist. Step the left foot forward. Round the spine. Pull that knee up into your chest. Left foot down between the hands. Take a breath in here and gaze to the top of the mat. And exhale. Let's find our forward fold. Step that right foot to meet the left. And inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold it back down. And Urdha Hastasana. Let's inhale and circle sweep those arms up tall. Soften the shoulders down your back. And exhale, swan dive forward. And inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale. Let's bring that left foot back. Low lunge. And let's open up to a warrior two from here. Spiral that back heel down to the mat. Breathe in. Keep that front knee bent. And rise up. Open the arms out wide. And up. Exhale. Settle in. Knees beyond your right hand. Arms out to a T. Take a breath in. Just reaching through the fingertips. Just kind of deepening the bend in that front knee. Feeling the heat build as you exhale. And inhale, peaceful warrior. Reach the palm forward and lift the palm. Lift it up to the sky. Lean the torso back. Just feel the stretch in your side body. Landing that back hand on the back leg. Let it slide down as you continue to tilt the torso back. Exhale. Reaching the fingertips higher to the sky. Take a big breath in. And exhale, extended side angle.
go. Let's keep the legs coming down. Just rest that front arm. On the left side. Got it. Each other arm reaching along the ear. Just sweeping the left arm up and over. Along the ear. Deep breath in here. Stretching the fingertips away. Just creating one long line from the fingertips. Moving down to that left foot. Deep in the bend in that front knee. Take breath out. Just going to stretch in the front inner thigh. Rotating the chest upward towards the ceiling. Turning the gaze to the ceiling. Take an inhale here. And exhale. Feel the heat build on the front thigh. Rotating the chest up. Inhale. Left down gain. Deep in that lunge. One last time. And exhale. And let's inhale back to our peaceful warrior. Right arm to the sky this time. Take one breath here as you lift it up. And exhale, find your low lunge. Windmill the hands down. Frame that front foot on your mat. Lift up that back heel. Push through the hands and round your spine. Just lift the knee towards the chest. Feel the core engaged here. Take a breath in here. And exhale, let's step that front foot back and find your downward dog. And inhale from here, shift forward to your plank, rolling forward on your mat. Exhale, chaturanga, lower halfway down, elbows going straight back. And you got it, inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest. Exhale to down dog, let's lift up from your core, bring in the hips up and back. Inhale on your tippy toes, let's bend the knees deeply, just kind of gaze forward. Exhale, step or fly to the top of your mat. Inhale, let's lift up halfway. And exhale, fold it down. Chair pose from here. Let's bring those knees and sink the hips back and down. Inhale, the arms overhead. And just kind of stay in the pose as you exhale. Shifting the weight back into your heels. Maybe bending the knees a little deeper, just letting the heat build in the thighs. Inhale, lift the arms a little higher palms to face each other. You got it. And fold forward all the way down. Take a breath out here. Inhale for a half way lift. And exhale. Let's lift the right foot back this time and find our low lunge. And open up to more your two on this side. So we're going to spin that back heel down to the mat. Inhale, rise up first. Windmill the arms out wide when you're ready to a T. Just breathe out here. Deepen the bend in that front knee. Soft gaze past your hand. Just shifting the front knee a bit to the left. Opening the hips. Inhale here. Relax your shoulders down as you exhale. And let's inhale the peace forward. Flip that front palm. Let's sweep it up to the sky. Send it up and back. And take a breath out here. Hands sliding back down that back leg, feeling the side body stretch. Just reaching straight up to the ceiling. Inhale here. And exhale for extended side angle. Let's do the same. We're just tilting forward, placing the left elbow on the left thigh, and sweeping the other arm along here. Right arm along here. And a straight line to the length of the right side. Inhale here. Deepen the bend in that front knee if you can. Exhale. Just lengthening the stance here. Rotating the chest up to the ceiling. Inhale. Feel the heat build in the legs as we breathe out. Rotating the chest. One more inhale. Deepen the lunge one last time. Exhale. Let's go back to peaceful warrior. Left arm to the sky again. One breath in here. And then exhale to your low lunge. Cartwheel right, those hands down. Let's lift up that back heel. And again, pushing through the hands. Core is engaged. Try to suck that knee into your chest and front. Inhale. Exhale. Let's step it back to downward dog. And inhale. Let's come high into the tippy toes. Bend the knees. Look towards your hands here. Close the front of the room. Exhale. Let's make our way to the top of the mat. And inhale for a half lift up. And exhale, folding it down. 
down. Inhale, circle swing those arms up to the sky. Let's find our Urdhva Hastasana. And exhale, come into the Dasana. Standing tall, with your palms facing forward. Let's try some standing balance, tree pose. Now shifting the weight to your right foot, let's connect the sole of the left foot to the ankle, the calf, or you can reach down and press the sole of the foot on the inner thigh. Just be sure to place the foot above or below the knee to prevent stress in that knee joint. When you're ready, float the hands to heart center and just breathe out here as you rest the eyes on a single point of the focus. Breathe in as you grow taller, standing foot rooting down. Anchor that standing foot down to the mat. Exhale. Stand tall. Shoulders aligned over your hips. Tailbone down. Inhale. Let's move the crown of the head. And let's move back to the dasana. Breathe out. Turn the foot to the mat. Standing tall again. Arms in the your sides. Palms facing forward. On the other side, tree pose, shifting the weight to the left foot this time. Let's place the sole of the right foot, the ankle, the calf. Or if you want to clear the knee joint, use your hand, place the foot to the inner thigh. And when you're ready, just join the hands together at heart center and breathe out. Keep the eyes focused ahead. As you move the shoulders back just a touch. Move the standing foot down. Lift up through the standing leg and just breathe in here. Let the breath go. Soften your shoulders away from your ears. Relax and firm the palms into one another. Inhale. And back to Tadasana. Exhale. Foot down to the mat. Arms down by your sides again. Palms facing, facing forward here. Concentrating on the breath. And let's inhale. Surface with the arms to the sky. And soften your knees and spill forward. Forward fold. Inhale for a halfway lift. And exhale. Let's plant the palms and step back to bend elbows. Chaturanga. And up dog from here. Inhale, straighten the elbows. And exhale, down dog. Let's lift up from the core here. Press back. And inhale, bend the knees. Look forward again. Get ready to make your way forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of that. And inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold it forward. Bird Hastasana. Inhale, surface root those arms tall overhead. Soften the shoulders down your back. And exhale, scroll down again over the legs. And chair pose from here, bend the knees. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. And just keep the deep bend in the knees here. Exhale, hands to heart center. And inhale, here to lengthen through your spine. And exhale, let's recall this. Rotate the torso towards the right. Just connect that left elbow to the outside edge of the right thigh. Take the gaze over your right shoulder. Take a breath in here. As you press the palms firmly together, just finding more length through your spine. Take a breath out. Twist even more, pushing that tricep into the thigh. And then thigh back into the tricep. Take a breath in, press the palms firmly together. And breathe out, just twisting even more. And forward, but let's release slowly and on. Release completely forward down. Just be heavy for a moment. Maybe sway from side to side, neutralize the hips a little bit. And inhale to a halfway lift. And exhale. Let's bring the left foot back for a low lunge. An easy twist from here. Keep everything where it is. Let's just peel this right arm up to the side, to the sky. Take a big breath in as you reach up. And exhale. Try to rotate the right hip down towards the ground, twisting deeper. Reaching through the hand, just rotating the chest to the sky. Big inhale here. Let's find our core screw. If you want, go ahead and lower that back knee down, left knee down. Turn the right toes out a little bit here, knee coming out wide. 
and then you open up to the side. Bend that back knee if you like, and let's pull that heel in towards the glute. Just reach the right hand back and capture the foot with the right hand. And let the chest stay open to the side. Hips are descending down to the front of your mat. Now if this is too much, just stay here with the arm lifted. Just twist to the side. Work on your twist. You should feel this in the back thigh. If you're using the course for pose here. Front of the back thigh. So if you guys have yoga straps, sometimes those are helpful for these poses. Because you can move it around your foot. Just pull the length of your feet. When I'm rich, I'm going to buy you all some. I'm going to be rich enough to do that. And let's find our little lunge again. Release that back foot down. Unwind. Let's let the hands frame that front foot on your mat again. Tuck the back toes under and let's lift that back knee up. Just press through the hands. Inhale here. And exhale. Let's tuck that front foot back and find your downward dog. Inhale, let's lift our hands here, soft into the knees again, prepare to move forward. Exhale, let's step or hop to the top of that. And inhale, lift up halfway. And exhale, fold it back down. Inhale, let's circle sweep the arms up to the sky. Bring that And exhale, swan dive forward, all the way back down. Let's find our chair pose, bend the knees, inhale, sweep the arms up, tall overhead. And exhale, stay seated deeply in chair. Let's draw the hands to our heart center. And inhale as you open the chest. And exhale, from here let's revolve it. Go to the other side this time, twisting left, hook that right tricep, outside edge of the left thigh. Just take the gaze over to the left shoulder. As you breathe out, press the palms together even more. Just grow long in your spine. Keep the weight back in your heels. Breathe out here, just twisting more. Firming the tricep into the thigh. And the thigh back into the tricep. Inhale here, just get longer in the spine. And breathe out as you twist a little more. And back to your forward fold, slowly in line. Put the hands rock to the ground with the toes. Drape the torso and the legs. Relax the head and neck. And if you want to sway the hips side to side. And inhale. Let's find a halfway lift. And exhale. Let's bring that right foot back this time for low lunge. Easy twist on the other side. Let's keep the legs firm deeply into the mat here. And just inhale as you lift the left arm this time up to the ceiling. Finding your twist. Just staying in the pose as you exhale. Just gotta keep the left hand where it is. As you rotate that left hip down to face your mat. One more inhale here. Just keep reaching tall, gazing up at the left fingertips. Let's find our course here. If you want, lower that right knee down. Left knee open out to the side a little bit here. Left toes kind of pointing outwards again. Just reach the left arm back and catch the back foot. And you pull that right heel in towards your glute. Let the hips descend towards the front of the mat. Just feel the opening in the right hip flexor. Step it back and find your downward dog. 
and inhale, shift forward to plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Lowering halfway down, and inhale to up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's find child's pose from here. Bring the big toes together to touch. Separate the knees out wide. Let the tops of the feet come down to your mat. And just press the hips back and down. Just resting towards your heels or on your heels. Completely relax everything that was just working. Resting your forehead into the mat. Just breathe deeply here. Shifting forward on the mat, chaturanga, exhale. 
and inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward dog. Let's find an easy seat. Lower the knees down to your mat and just swing the legs around in front of you. Nice cross. Well, let's try our boat pose for our core is here. We're going to extend the heels and the feet down to the mat and extend the arms long in front, palms facing forward. Engage your core, lean back slightly as you lift your feet. Let the shins come parallel to the floor. And inhale here. Just keep drawing your belly in. If it's too much, you can always bring the hands back down to the shins or even the hamstrings for more support. And exhale, kind of soften the shoulders away from your ears. Right in the chest here, broaden with an inhale. Exhale, let's find a half bow. Curl over the pelvis a little bit. Let's bring the low back towards the mat here. Bring the shoulders just above the mat here. Hovering the legs above the mat. Just feel the shake and the core. Inhale, back up to boat pose. Reach through the fingertips. Keep the spine long. And easy seat. Let's cross the shins again. Rolling back up to your seated position. Just resting the hands on your thighs for a moment. Inhale back to our bow. Engage the core one more time. Lean back. Exhale. Soften your face. Big inhale as you lift through the heart. And reverse tabletop. Let's plant the feet flat on your mat here. You start to walk the hands behind or at the bottom. Fingertips pointing towards your hips. Draw the shoulder blades together. Inner elbows coming together back here. Puff your chest up, spine is arching. And from here, round down through the hands and the feet. And let's inhale and lift the hips off the mat. Now, as you breathe out, push down through the feet. Lift the hips high. Last inhale, descending the heart towards the sky. Maybe you can let the head roll back some more if you want. And let's lower the hips back down to the mat. Exhale. Let's go to supine. So we're going to slowly lower our backs down to the mat. Curl the spine. Lower one vertebra at a time all the way down. Knees pointed up to the ceiling. And let's try a straight legged bridge pose. So feet are hip width distance here. We're going to press into the feet and lift the hips up. And kind of walk the feet in closer to the shoulders. Come onto the tippy toes if you want to advance this and make it a little bit more challenging. Place the hands under your hips, fingertips pointing to the side, just getting yourself a little bit more support. And from there, slowly walk the feet away from your shoulders. Maybe the legs can straighten all the way if you want. Feet flat to the mat. Just press the elbows into the mat. Lift through your hips. If that's too much, go back to the regular bridge pose and bend the knees. And let's walk the feet back in and release the hands to your side. Slowly roll it back down to your mat. Let's bring the soles of the feet together for recline butterflies. We started the class. Just bring the knees out wide here. One hand to the belly, one to the heart, one breath here. Let's bring the legs together here. Grab behind your hamstrings and rock and roll along your spine, just coming up to a seated position. So we're going to go to downward dog here. Sending the hips up and back one more time. Once we're here, let's bring that right leg up and back. Toes are pointing down. Exhale the half pigeon from here. We're going to draw that right knee into the right wrist this time. Just lay your shin bone down on your mat. Lift that back and you drop down. You can scoop that back leg all the way back if you want. If the hip is kind of laying on the floor, you can deepen that toes we're heading towards. Scooting that other foot towards the left wrist a little bit. Just don't worry about how far it gets. Just find a place that feels comfortable for your knee. And inhale here. Lifting up the chest. And exhale. If this feels okay, just begin to walk the hands forward, folding over that front thigh, releasing your head to the mat, and then you lay it into your arms. Once you find a place that feels good, just 
soften here. Release your shoulders. Release your neck. Just completely relax your thighs. Raise up 
down to the sternum. And then exhale, start to tilt forward. Inch from your hips and walk the hands out in front. Maybe grabbing onto the calves, the ankles, or the toes, or the feet. Bring your sternum forward. You can let the elbows go wide here once you reach your max. Just kind of soften your chest down towards your knees. Take a few breaths in here. Let's walk the hands back at the legs, begin to lift your torso up, and bend the knees, place the feet on your mat, and let's find some kind of again, slowly lower the back, down to the mat, and let's try fish pose, extend the legs out long, let's point the toes here, and let the palms face down, slide the hands under your bottom, and from there, pinch the elbows together, press down with the elbows and forearms, and just pelt up your chest from here. Let the head rest lightly on the mat behind you. Let your throat open. Release. Let's put the elbows go up wide here. Pull your spine all the way back down. And bend the knees, feet flat on your mat. Let's find a supine twist, eagle. So we're going to inhale here. Bring the knees towards your chest. Let's cross the right leg over the left. Maybe wrap the toes all the way around to come behind the left calf if you can, if you're that flexible. Or just maybe feet here. Knees towards your torso, let's exhale. And drag the knees over to the left side. Reach the arms out to a T-shape. Just gaze right. Finding a smile, just breathe here. And continue to soften into the shape. For a little bit more grounding, you place the left hand on top of your knee here, the right knee, and anchor the legs down if you like. With every exhale, just relax into your twist a little bit more. Back down to the mat. Let's try this other side. So we're going to cross the left leg over the right. Maybe the toes can wrap behind the right calf. Just breathe in as you pull the knees in. And then exhale. Let's go to the other side. Legs coming to the right. Arms up to a T. Just gazing left. And just breathe in here. Continuing to soften into the shape. For a sense of grounding, remember you can place the right hand on top of that left knee, the top knee. With every breath out, just soften into the twist. Turn to the center and bring the feet back to the mat. Let's hug both knees in to your chest. 